Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Talking Bits, the show where I take you behind the scenes of Schler Bits and I share with you all of my DIY video production and content creation tips and tricks. Today, it's another very special episode where you literally get to go behind the scenes of Schler Bits. Using my GoPro, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Schler Bits set all of the things that I have set up. I also set up to do some time-lapse photography. You can see an actual shoot of an episode of Schlerbitz so that you can see that I literally do do everything myself. So I'm running back there and turning on the camera and turn on the sound and then I come back around and I sit in and I do all my acting. I really am a one woman show around here and that there is no crew except for me who has two thumbs and is their own crew. This girl. I don't know, that's ridiculous. Again, as a reminder, I apologize for the sound quality. It's filmed literally behind the scenes, and so I just pick up my GoPro camera and shoot whatever's going on, and so the sound may not be all that good. Please go ahead and turn on your closed captions if you're having difficulty understanding me. This is me, filming Schlerbits. Whee! Hey guys, welcome to the set of Schlerbits. So I wanna give you a little tour around. Let's check things out, right? Okay, so this is my camera. It is a Canon T3i, uh, and what I really like about it is the fact that as a DIY filmmaker, uh, it's important for me to be able to see myself, and I can just flip this screen when I'm sitting over there where that water bottle is. Uh, I can flip the screen so that I can see myself uh, so I know that I'm in the right place in the shot. I know that things look good the way that I want them to. Uh, and then I can go ahead and roll and it's really great. Um, let me show you a quick trick for getting focus because, so that's why I have that water bottle there because it's just me on Schlerbitz and so I don't have a stand in, right? So what I do is I place an object right where, uh, right where I need myself to be and then I just focus on that. You see that straw coming into clear focus? That tells me then that I will be in focus when I am over there. So that's a really handy thing to do. I have used all kinds of things to be stand-ins. I have used stuffed animals. I have used water bottles. I've used mic stands, all of that kind of stuff. Speaking of mic stands, I have one of those. Uh, it's a boom stand. It, here we go, there we go. Uh, it holds my boom mic, so that's cool. I don't have to pay a boom operator and I don't have to, uh, you know, give them union breaks or anything like that. I mean, the downside of this is that it's going to just stay in one place. So if you have dialogue between two people, you're not gonna get someone, you know, this thing can't move back and forth between the two people. Um, so you have that downside, but usually it's just me, so it kind of works. Uh, so I picked this up for about 20 bucks on Amazon, I think, and it's been a great investment um, to be able to put my, my boom mic anywhere that I need to. Um, and then you'll see I have my lights. So here are the lights that I have that I've talked about in previous episodes of Talking Bits. Um, they're really great. I just focus them in on the scene. As you can see, I'm gonna be behind a computer today. Uh, and then I have my <laughs> Tascam DR40, which is this lovely little bad boy right here. Uh, this is my sound recorder. This is what the external um, microphone is actually plugged into. Uh, and this thing is great. This is very much a set it and forget it type of thing. I have set it to what my friend who does sound professionally told me to set it to. And then I can just come in and hit record and it works. So it's pretty great. So yeah, that's pretty much how I completely DIY Schlerbitz. I basically just run around, you know, hit record on the camera and hit record on the sound recorder and we go. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to send me your questions about Schlerbitz and DIY video production and content creation. Any questions that you have, please send those over to schlerbitz at gmail.com and I will be sure to answer them. Also tune in every Tuesday for a new episode of Talking Bits and every Saturday for a new episode of Schlerbitz. Yay! Thanks, guys!